During AMD's Computex keynote, Lisa Su said that while AM4 is a great platform that will continue for many years to come, uh, do you think this is AM4 being confirmed as not being dead after all? Perhaps as the budget lineup to replace A630. Um, I don't really know what the takeaway should be from those comments. For me, it was basically we have this really robust five-year platform that now is basically you can go, you can mix and match CPUs and motherboards pretty freely, really, for, for most, yep. uh, I think, MSI, Gigabyte, and ASUS. For sure, you can put like 5,000 series Ryzen processors on a 300 series board. That's pretty incredible. I, I think, well, for me, I took those comments to mean more we will continue to support that platform in the form of like a GSA microcode update. So yeah. if there's security issues or ongoing USB issues, we will continue to address those and roll out updates and they'll be supported platforms. So they won't be neglected or discontinued or end of life or however you want to put it. Yeah, exactly. And on top of that, I would expect that you'd be able to continue buying AM4 motherboards. Yes. Because they just launched the 5800X3D. So how bizarre would it be to launch the 5800X3D and then within six months be like, yeah, so we're not going to be releasing any more BIOS updates and you won't be able to buy those boards mm -hmm. anymore. Mm -hmm. That would be very, very strange. Yeah, CPUs as well probably remain on sale for a while. Yeah, exactly. So... <laughs> You know, I think probably our expectation would be that, for example, I think it's unlikely that we'll initially get an AM5 CPU for, let's say, 150 US dollars. Mm -hmm. It would make a lot of sense that AM4 is still available for people in that yeah, category. Yeah, Ryzen 5 5600 would, would be that part, I would say. Yep. Uh, whether we get... I, I, look, I don't expect we'll get new processors uh, on that socket maybe like rebranded or refresh could be some sort of possibility yeah. depending on how the low end goes but yeah not expecting new chipsets or cpus but yeah we'll see what happens there